Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Zudesia, or in this case, where we've got dogs in the floor, it seems, we are actually inside of the old quarry house. This is the little house that we built as a shelter back when we were first expanding over here and checking out what the quarry could provide for us. Oh my goodness, it's been so long since we used to do that. And Pine is still injured and I don't know why and it concerns me. Pine, I'm gonna just stuff you up on like cooked pork chop and make you sit for a while. But I did some research and it turns out what is most likely the problem is we just don't have strong enough engines because you need the working bar to go up all the way. Energy is totally full, idle is still going on, but it just doesn't look like we'll be able to make it work right now. So I'm gonna turn the engines off and we'll come back to this project later when we can make some more powerful engines. For now, we actually, come on Pine, I don't know what you did to yourself, baby, but we're gonna go this way. For now, we are gonna get back to working inside of the cove and checking out all of our fish. Look at all these fish. Oh my goodness. There's so many, and we'll check on what fish uh, the dogs may have caught because they are also excellent fishers. And how are you doing? These two are acting a little bit more interesting lately, and you're looking a lot bigger than usual. You're looking a lot bigger than usual, Nami. Oh, she's talking to me too. She's so sweet. So we're gonna have to, I think Saturday, we're gonna check out what's going on with Nami and Nima over here. And Pine, you are worrying me so much. Oh, I can't take this anymore. Let's go get a dog bed. We need to make a quick dog bed. Are there any sheep nearby? Are there any sheep available for an emergency dog bed? You're a turkey. That doesn't count. <laughs> you can see where Calf built the whole, the whole like piping. All right, I don't think there's any sheep over here. You're a duck. You're also not helping. That's a zombie. Definitely not helping. All right, let's go over to the other side. Maybe we'll find a sheep nearby. We might just have to go straight to the Gansu find alpine sheep. If there's no no closer sheep. Oh, there's a cow. Hello, cow. All right, here's a, a little fox. <laughs> there's oh, I remember this. This is where we first started thinking that maybe Tate and Iris. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh, it's just a little crevice piece. I can't believe we've never been down here. There's just a lot we should definitely explore to appreciate what has been in this world. Um, just, just cause. All right, let's pop over here. Any sheep? I just need like one sheep for my dog. No? Okay, well let's head over to our Gansu Fine Alpine Sheep. Oh. My. Gosh. This is what happens when ostriches get stuck and lay eggs. Ah! <laughs> it's an ostrich explosion! Look at this! Oh my goodness! Pine, hang in there! Let's get out of here so we don't agitate them and accidentally pick up eggs and the next thing you know we have angry mama ostriches breathing down our necks trying to peck us to death. Ooh, and let's gather up these beautiful propeller plants. They're just so pretty. Aren't they just so pretty? Butterfly weeds even, not propeller plants. Sorry. And we'll go put them over by the quagga, I think. Oh, there's a little peppercorn tree. Cool. And a fox hanging out under it. Don't worry, Pine. We're still headed over towards the Gansu fine, <laughs> fine wool alpine sheep. The alpine sheep, I should say. And somebody actually commented that learning about steppies and how they're basically big open plains that don't have a lot in them helped them out on their exams. So that made me so happy. That's my biggest goal and dream. I'm coming, Pine. Oh my gosh, I don't know why. We definitely, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I can't move. Okay, quick. Darling's rejuvenating peach tea. More peach tea. Oh, hang on, Pine. I'm, I'm, I'm going for you, buddy. I'm going for you. All right, upstairs and we're gonna shear some sheep and make Pine a dog bed, and then we're gonna make him rest while we build the little pier. Ah, this puppy. I'm always so worried about him. Pine! Pine! There you are. I'm gonna have to, like, hire a vet for the zoo to make sure that, like, he gets checked out. In fact, that's pretty irresponsible of me. I keep thinking there's a gate there, and there's no gate there. That's very irresponsible of me that I haven't hired a, a vet just yet, to be completely honest. All right, Gansu fine. Alpine sheep, gonna collect the wool. Then we'll make a dog bed. I mean, any zoo, oh my gosh, where are all my Gansu fine alpine sheep? 
Are they being eaten in the night? Is that happening? It must be happening because I only have three sheep left and I had a lot more than that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I've got to get these guys defended. I need to like breed them up again. I, I, I know what the answer is. I need to light the area up better. This is on my own head. All right, so let's see. What will it take to make a dog bed? I know, Pine. Hang on, baby. Bed. Dog bed out of oakwood planks. Okay. Hang on, Pine. Why? It, like, did he get hurt? Did he get bit by a piranha? I know I have a crafting bench left out somewhere over here, or I did. Did I seriously clean it up after myself? Well, I know we have one over by where we're working along the cove, so we'll go over there. So sorry, Pine. Oh geez, the, po the polar bear, the panda bear startled me. All right, let's make Pine a little dog bed. Pine! What? That's how you make dog bed, right? Oh no, it's not. Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried for a second. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, we'll just have one for now. But we can always make more. Hey, Agent Noodles. I, Agent Noodles, I think, wants to hang out with Persephone. Pine, come here. Come here. Come here. Keep coming. Oh, there he goes. He got close enough to the dog bed. You sit and stay and try to heal up while the rest of us are going to go look for fish, okay? Oh my goodness, he worries me. Let me see how these two are doing on being fisher dogs before we get started. Um, actually, this is not what I need to use. I need to use a plank. Silly me. I'm so agitated. I'm like worried about him. Holy moly, Tate! Raw fish! Raw fish everywhere! And a piece of wheat that would have been useful. Oh my gosh. These two have been... Holy moly! Wow. Okay, thank you, Holly. You're, you're just as good a fisher as your dad. Alright, Pine, you're gonna rest over there for now, buddy. So worried about him. And then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna build a quick little pier. This shouldn't take very long. We're just going to make sure it's in the same style as the other building that we have made. So let's yank out these oak planks. Tate's already working on fishing again for us, it seems. And then let's get out like the carpenter's wedges. And we're going to need some thatching. So let me think about this. We want the wedges to go... Oh, hello, little fishy. We kind of want the wedges to go like right here. Like... So, can I can I do this? Oh, I have an idea. Because we, we want to make sure we stay out of the water because the fish can swim into things and then they can get damaged and die. And we don't want that. That's like what we're trying to avoid. Let's just do this. There we go. And then we can actually take out this middle piece so we don't waste carpenter's blocks. And then we can go, boom, Holly, scooch over. Boom, boom. And then we get the oakwood planks. Boom, boom, boom. Back up a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. Yes, the boom is necessary for the building process. There we go. All right. And see, then you can like click on the little boat that you want to get into. So we're not going to make the pier too big, but we do want to make it like big enough. You can kind of get an idea of like walking out and then being able to get into a couple boats. So maybe one more. I don't want to obstruct the view though. Actually, maybe we'll shrink it a little bit because I really don't want to ruin the view for the people who are looking on the bridge. That's something I'm trying to be considerate of. Oh man. All right, let's just get on top of it. It's so frustrating. I'm coming. There we go. And there we go. Pick up that plank real quick. And then we'll need to get the thatching and put thatching on. I wonder if we'll need to make more thatching. Thatching, like, uses up so much sugar cane, but it turns out so awesome. All right, there we go, there we go. Take you off. Pick you guys up. There, see? That's all we needed was a nice little pier. But it was fun to pause for a moment and see if we could make the fisher work. Long story short, I still need to figure out how to get enough power and juice going for the fishery things. Alright, Lily's pack. Do I have any... Wow, we don't have any thatching left, do we? 
That's what I thought, but I didn't want to believe it. But it's true. We have no thatching left. And a whole bunch of fish. So cool. And actually, we are going to modify Dr. Nami's underwater research laboratory in the future uh, when we know it won't produce certain animals to only release, like, out straight into the cove. All right, let's go ahead and harvest this up so we can get some thatching. I really wish my dogs wouldn't get hurt every time they get out of the water. It worries me. And Oh dear. I ran for it. Did you hear that screaming? That was a werewolf. Why? Why are my sugarcane fields infested with werewolves? Why? Ah, okay. And I'm gonna get out Moonworm Queen. You know what? I'm fighting back this time with, with more light. I thought I had plenty of light, but apparently not. Apparently I need more light. Here, Moonworm Queen. Let's launch your kids up into the leaves. There we go. See? Ooh, there. Ooh, that's really nice, actually. I like that effect. I like that we can put moonworms on the leaves. Oh, that's so cool! Okay. Moonworm child. Our saviors come in the form of moonworms. Where's the werewolf? I'm ready, dude. I, I even saw like a kind of flash of light when he was transforming. Where is he? Like you guys heard him screaming, didn't you? That's so scary. That's like spooky movie level scary when you can hear like you, you know it's coming, you hear it, and then you see nothing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's light this place up a little bit more. Oh, the tall grasses just make it worse. It's like you wait for anything to like pop out at any second and you just don't know where it is. Well, thankfully, all I'm seeing is a raccoon. Oh my gosh, Holly! You just about made my heart stop showing up like that. And now I just hope that he's not going to pop out at us while we're harvesting our sugarcane from the sugarcane terrace. Alright. Oh, the moonworm wiggled, and I was like, ah, he's here! I'm very jumpy, apparently. Oh, jeez, see, I'm so jumpy! Everybody's popping out, and I'm just like, ah! I'm gonna be eaten by the werewolf! But my dogs are here with me. I have companionship. They'll protect me. It's gonna be okay. Even if I have creepy werewolves popping in my, <laughs> my sugarcane films all the time. For unknown reasons. All right, here we go, guys. So let's go ahead and we're gonna get the pier done and even build some little boats so people can just ride on them. And like, I guess we'll just put like maybe two or three little boats for now. And then as we get more visitors, I'll have to come up with like a, a better way to store boats because everybody knows how reliable boats are in Minecraft. Breaking all the time. Meanwhile, I think Tate and Holly are busy like catching tiny beta fish or something from the little water spots that we've got over here. Alright, let's drop down. Come through. Not the most efficient way to harvest a terrace. No wonder I have spooky things spawning. Get this here. Get this here. I'm learning. See? Okay. That's fine. Do I have Do I have a bow? I, I'm pretty sure I've got all uh, my infinity bow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This should be nice. Let's just casually take care of that silver skeleton. Hey, you jerk. Stop moving. Don't get out of my shooting range. You fudge knuckle -y jerk. Jerk faces. Man, am I just a bad aim? Or is our silver skeletons, since they are skeletons, just so full of holes? Oh, I killed him. There we go. That, it feels so real to be like, yeah, I killed him. But in this, in this instance, it was uh, a good thing. All right, there we go. And we've got our torches to splatter everywhere. I'm going to swap this out just in case something pops up and tries to eat us. There. And our fish! And it's so cool to know that you guys are those fish. That you guys are those fish. That this is actually Z's tree from Florida. Z from Florida. Let me see if I can get a moonworm on it. Sweet! <laughs> I love doing that. Alright. And we should have enough to be able to make some enough thatching at least. There we go. Jump down here. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh jeez, I thought that was a zombie. Why am I so jumpy tonight? Who knows? Let's go ahead and we're going to sprinkle some beloved moonworms because they're they're 
probably one of my favorite ways to decorate with light are the moonworms because you can put them on the underside of leaves you can kind of tuck them in places that are, are very unobtrusive like down here and it works all right pop out see like it doesn't it doesn't have the the area of a torch taking up so it doesn't really feel like it's in your face you still have kind of the naturalistic look you might be going for all right and then let's go ahead and let's make some thatch bundles with our beautiful sugar cane there we go swap that out and then boink boink and boink boink oh no i've ruined everything it's a quiet night quiet night on the open ocean I keep waiting for like death and destruction to rain down from above and I have no idea why. I'm just like tense, expectant. All right, let's put that down. Oh, and let's get our crabs out and release our crabs that we caught. Whoops. There we go. Whoops. Keep messing this up. There, finally. Let's get our crabs out. So, oh, and there's kelpers. I love how we have kelpers brought over here by Mara and look at all those fish. So remember guys, everybody who left a like, one of those fish is you! Isn't that so cool? I love knowing that that's such an awesome way that our community built what's going on over here. Oh, and I guess I'm going to have to change out this last, this last block with a carpenter's block. Hey kelpers! I'm glad you're not a, a shark. Ta-da! And let's finish it up. Gotta be perfectionist about it because we've gone this far. Alright. Oh, I don't, I need to get out my, let's see, where's my carpenter's blocks? There we go. Blurp, blurp. Yay! All right. And now we have the pier finished up. So it would kind of be cool to have some extra pieces on the pier somehow. I've never really, like, piers to me are just like a jut of wood that you stick out. But sometimes they have cool things on them. I don't think, yeah, we're out of barriers, unfortunately. So for now, I'm just gonna put down like a couple torches on the end. Even though we've been using moonworms, that's just more to note that I wanna put like a barrier with a torch, like at these points right here, I think. Maybe at these points. No, cause that might obstruct walking on. So we'll put like a barrier and some lamps up here later, but let's run over. I'm like paranoid about lighting everything up now cause I heard the werewolves again. Dang it, Tate, you be careful too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, light this up. Light this up, light this up. I'm getting better about it. I'm getting better about it, slowly but surely. And now we have moonworms, we can even light up the leaves. A pie, which is cool. Alright, Pine, you can join us now. Now, who's whining? Tate, is it you? Holly! Holly Earth! Holly, come on down! Okay, now she's feeling better. You sit and rest. Jeez. I guess getting in the water is a little more dangerous than I thought for my dogs. Um, Alright, so let's see. Let's add on some boots. Hey, boat. There we go. Yeah, we'll put like three boats out in the water. And then we'll call this finished. So we've added that. Um, oh, and then let's see if we can put the little moray cave just under the bridge real fast. All right, hopefully these boats, I guess we should probably put them like on this side as evenly as possible. There we go, and now you have a little pier. Pine, <laughs> he just set all the boats loose. <laughs> it was perfect. It was perfect, and then, oh my gosh. What? What? No floating boats. You're supposed to stay out. Like, no, like, boats are supposed to float, but not in the air. <laughs> oh, note to self. We need to put, like, a little, a little carpenter's barrier area. And maybe you can, like, put, um, maybe you can put, like, a couple carpenter's gates. And then you can open it up and, like, swim out with the boat. Oh, well, we'll work on that. It's a it's a progress project, a progress project. And now let's see if we've got a, what it takes to just build a tiny little cool looking underwater. Yeah, we've got what it takes. Hang on. Let me put some things away. 
All right, let's put you away. I'll put you guys. Oh, we need to get the crabs out. That's right. Put these guys away. Put these away. Thatch bundles. You can actually go in Lily's pack. Oh, actually, there is already some rocky glowstone. Sweet. And we're going to use the cyan die. And it's just going to be a small little cave. Uh, we might dig out some spots, actually, to make it a little bit deeper. <gasps> Whew. So this is going to be our little moray eel cave. We've got to fill it up because our fish is like, ah, help! I'm getting tugged down! Getting tugged down by the water force! Gasp for breath. No, little fish, don't go there. Alright, float up here. We, we keep having to stop for breath. Totally normal, don't worry. Alright, and then let's swim down here, collect these. <gasps> Phew! All right, and then we're actually gonna take this one at the back out. Oops, well that doesn't work. <laughs> okay, hang on, I gotta get out of the water for just a second. I'm going for the volcanic rock and we're gonna use these pieces of volcanic rock actually as decorative pieces. One right there, one right here. And then I wonder how we're gonna pull this part off. Hmm. This is okay, I think. And then that, and then like that, because we can't actually use the slopes now that I think of it in this area. Because if we use the slopes, it'll drown the fish. But if we do it like this... The Kelpers is really talkative today, my goodness, then it should be okay. Alright, so we're going to put all those carpenter's blocks down and then put the glowstone down on it. Okay, gas for breath before we die. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Eh, that, that could be okay. The double paneling. There's that, there's that. And then hit it all with the cyan die. And we're making ourselves a little more ray area. Okay, can't get that one, should be okay. Whoops! I didn't know I could make the leaves even darker. I mean, I knew that. It's just been a while since I've done that. All right, so there we go. And it actually has like some various coloring on it. So that's not so bad. And let's go ahead and we'll put the other volcanic rock in. Let me see. Like right there and right there. And it's kind of like the little moray cave right down there. I like it. Might, might have an ability to be a little bit better, but it's going to be good for now. So let's pop down here. Check it out from this side. Mm -hmm. I think I want to make it the same color, actually, as the others. Oh dear, the fishy seems to be caught up in a little bit of a pool. Are you okay, little fishy? No, he got out. Okay, good. He was just checking out the cave. And actually, I do want to hit that one. Okay, yeah. Actually, I like it all one color. There we go! I probably should have made it a little bit deeper so it went down, but there's our little moray cave, and I actually really like it. It's going to light the area up great. It adds to it uh, the area quite a bit. And let's go ahead, and I'm actually going to put down some purple, magenta, and pink coral. Like, the, the coral growths really quickly. Hello, kelpers! Watch out, okay? Because it's fun to just like sprinkle a few pieces here and there. whoops a dips have to replant those. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want... and then eight, nine, and one, two, one, two, gasp for breath, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to do like a whole big pile of purple right here. Gasp for breath, and then a splash of magenta, and a splash of pink dye. And now we've added to the little the little rough bottom, and I love the coloring! Whew. So this is, like I said, going to be one of those projects that we come back to again and again and again, because it's a big one. <laughs> it's a really big project, and it's going to take a lot of work just to constantly be adding uh, a little bit more glowstone, a little bit more illgrass, a little bit more kelp here and there. See, now we can add some various little pieces of kelp. Grab the sand. 
But that's because think of how beautifully complex the ocean ecosystem is and think about how tiny our huge efforts to try to make our own little ocean ecosystem has been. And we're just barely by a fraction being able to make it look anything like a real coral reef where you've got all that diversity in plants and corals. We need to get more corals from Dr. Nami actually. We'll have to do that soon. Let's let the, the crabs out. You know, that diversity in crabs, <laughs> diversity in different critters roaming around. Cool, so if you release the crabs underwater, they, they kind of stay under there for a little bit. That's cool. And there we go, guys. So that conquers another big project. The pier is done. It's not the best at all but we're going to have it at that point for now. We've lit the place up quite a bit to try to counter all of the werewolves that are showing up. No, Mr. Crab, get back in the water. Okay, well, he's, he's free Roman. Maybe he'll turn around and go in the water again someday. Here you go, Mr. Crab. He's a cute crab. Look at that cute crab. I mean, look at that cute crab. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. <laughs> he's so cute. But yeah, so we've got quite a bit going on in here now, and I think it's looking wonderful. It's definitely one of the best, most amazing detailed builds we've ever worked on. And I'll fix the pier to be less dorky. <laughs> but we do have other work to start doing around the zoo, so let's check in on some other things, and I will see you guys for that next time. Oh, look at all of you! It's all of you as fish! It's so cute! Alright guys, I'll see you later! Bye bye